Do you, do, can you hear me? I don't think I need a microphone, right? Uh, is it better with the microphone? Okay. Let's go with the audience then. Well, so here is my word soup for you. Not proper soup, but something like soup that we can make here. Have you ever made this soup earlier? None of you? Oh, that's good. That's good for me, right? I was like wondering, uh, most of you are like exchange teachers alumni here, so you must know how to uh, prepare a soup with later. So this is something that I'm going to offer you. But before that, I would just like to uh, invite a volunteer here. Who would like to volunteer? Well, the ladies, please come in. Well, uh, so this is called word soup. I'll, I'll say how you can use it, like, you know, for teaching English or improving your own English. But this is something that the teachers can use uh, to teach English and to make uh, their classroom fun. Uh, now we have a volunteer, and I'm sure you would also love to play this game. You can read the instruc uh, instructions over here. Uh, would you like to read it aloud? We have our volunteer. Spare as many English words as possible from the 10 letters in the top of the screen. Letters can be clicked on the screen with the mouse or type on the keyboard. Two clear letters, press, press the, what it is, the clear button on the screen or the delete button on the keyboard. So should we start? Yes. Let's start. OK. And you might like to help her as well. OK, so you will have to actually use the mic. As many words as you can. Yes. In the, in the yes. So you will say it. Uh, you will have some letters floating over here. Yes, and you I will have to your words. Yeah, yeah. OK, round. I guess. Right. OK. So these are your ingredients to yeah, submit or enter. Yes. Submit and clear. Okay. What else? What, 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 what? what? Help me. Got, got. Yes. What else? Go, go already. Go already. Bright, bright. Yes. What else? What else? Yes. at the US Embassy Dhaka. I'm sure if you are an exchange alum, you also had a contact at your embassy. Uh, so just, you can thank me like them, okay? So uh, I manage the English language programs and 
You can see a lot of uh, programs that we offer from the embassy. I'm not going to go, to, uh, go into the details because I know we have so many teachers who are not teaching English but other subjects here. So I wanted to make it very much inclusive and offer something which is kind of, you know, uh, which will be very helpful for you to use in your classrooms. Mm -hmm. But uh, there is something like, you know, be a teacher of English, STEM, science, mathematics, whatever it is, you actually need some English to uh, qualify for the exchange programs and to kind of, you know, better teach your students, right? Right? You need English, right? So it is something that, you know, it's very helpful for your own professional development as well. So if you are a teacher of English and if you are not a teacher of English, you can still go to our website and find a lot of resources that you can use to make your classroom interesting. Okay. Yes, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yes. Okay, and uh, this is just a photo, like, you know, the resources that we have, we offer, just to kind of, you know, show you what we have. Uh, and then, this is actually um, the game that I was talking about. And the game you just played was an additional uh, game to the actual one, which is called Tress Effects. Uh, and uh, yes. Yes? Who's there? <laughs> you like it? I guess he likes it. Uh, so what is Tress Effects? Tress Effects actually is a State Department developed online DVD video game. Uh, it talks about American culture, it talks about society, American um, uh, values, cultures, and uh, at the same time it also helps our students to learn English. And now I would actually uh, invite another volunteer to play the game itself just for five minutes, just to give you some idea how you were going to teach English using a game. So, yes, I guess someone is hiding. Would you like to come? No? Okay, it's fine. Uh, Who would like to volunteer this time? Come on. Yeah. So. Yes. So let's, let's start with chapter one. Tress effects actually, uh, this is just a moment. Just uh, let me give you the summary because we cannot have the sound here. The thing is Tress is a uh, university, first year university student who travels back to present, you know, through a time machine. And our purpose is to help him go back to future, to go back home. And it is a 3D game where you become Tress and kind of, you know, play the game and learn some words, uh, do some exercises and help him uh, go back home. Okay, so this is the video actually, so we're not going to watch it otherwise. Okay, so but I, I don't know if you can still have some idea about uh, the thing after watching this. Okay, just a moment. Yeah, we can say it here, but not there. Okay, this is like technical difficulties. Okay, now we have it. Okay, so this is the video. Oops, it's not showing. It's not showing. Uh, okay, let us do it again. Okay, just a moment. Can you see it? No. I think we just skip that part. Okay. Skip option. Skip option? No, it's not coming. Uh, I think we need a little bit of technical help here. Anyone from just? Because it's showing here but not in the screen. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, thank you. Would you please wait? But by the time, like, you know, we uh, fix this problem, let me just, you know, tell you what, uh, how to play the game and how to use it in your classroom. So this is um, a game that uh, was de uh, developed by U.S. Department, I just said, and uh, you can play it in your classroom to teach English, to teach women empowerment, to teach environment. So it has seven chapters, which talks about all these issues where, uh, like, you know, the young person, Tress, is there and you help him solve some problems and get back to future. And it is a very inclusive game which talks about so many things. So it's not just English. So the teachers who are sitting here thinking that what is the purpose of using this game in my classroom, but if you are kind of, you know, thinking of a, a science project and you want your students to be innovative, there is a chapter on science and innovation that you can use. Now the question is like, where can I find it, right? So yes, uh, you can go to the website called AmericanEnglish.state.gov, A-M-E-R-I-C-A-N, American English, E-N-G-L-I-S-H, 
at state.gov and there is the search bar where you can write like, you know, TRES effects. T-R-S-A-E, TRES is the name and effects is like, you know, effects, right? <laughs> so, TRES effects and uh, you will find that game and you can download it in your computer and like, you know, play the, this game. And I'm not sure if you also uh, have computers uh, in your classroom as well. Do you all have computers in our classroom? No. Uh, yes? Oh, well, that's good. I'm, I'm sure like, you know, people are really fortunate, but in Bangladesh, we do not really have uh, computers in every classes, but we do have computer classes, like as additional class for our students. So what we prefer is we take them to the library or like the computer lab someday and then play this game. So it can be an additional activity for them. Well, so the game is right here. Uh, okay, so would you like to watch the video without sound? You can? No, I think that that's not helping. That's actually basically like, you know, you, it talks about how trust comes into... Yeah, sorry. Okay. Wait. Okay, I can wait, no problem. Well, uh, let me like, you know, talk, right? Talking is good, yeah. So the thing is like, you know, I, I have given you the summary, how trust comes to future. He was actually, the summary, the video that we cannot watch now is about how trust gets into the time machine and comes to uh, the present time. And there is a professor called Peterson and a boy called A.D. So we have to kind of, you know, uh, find someone named Emma Fields to uh, kind of help trace to go back to future. So let's just have a kind of simple display how to play that game, chapter one. Okay? And uh, in the keyboard, you, ha you can use the arrows to move trace forward, backward, like, you know, left side or right way. So, okay? So let's give the videos. Okay, one minute. Oh, good. Okay. So do you guys remember the website that I just told you? What is that? Yes, AmericanEnglish.state.gov. It's full of resources, all free. You can download them anytime, anywhere. And we also have an uh, app called AE. You, you can go to your, on the Play Store and uh, just find AE, American English app, and then you can download it in your phone. And you, can, you do not really have to have a smartphone to play the word soup game on your mobile. It turns your phone uh, to a smartphone, which is very, really, really, really cool for us, I guess. Uh, so, and we call that app English on the Go. English on the Go, so it's AE app, and you can download it from the Play Store. But unfortunately, it doesn't work for iPhones, it's only for the Androids and Java. Okay? Uh, so, should we start? Oh, okay, good. Are you ready? Yes, yeah, so let's start. Uh, yes? Okay, forget it. I, I, th I think we are good. No problem. Excuse me. Okay. It's good. It's good. No one wants to uh, like need to watch the video. So let's just start it. Okay, the chapter. So you will have to use the arrows to move. Yes, let's. Oh, okay. That's working. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's working.
Okay, so that was our video. Satisfied? Yeah. I think our people in the back, they really wanted to watch this video, so it's good. Okay, I'm glad that it finally worked. You always have the challenge of technology, right? You always have to be prepared. So I, I guess like, you know, um, being a teacher, I was a teacher previously, so it helps. And I'm sure our teacher can run the show anytime, anywhere, right? So a big clap for our teachers, actually. Yes. Okay. So now, so this is how the game looks. And yes, our volunteer here. All right. Yes. So you have to move. So uh, teachers, for the teachers, you'll see that tab here. The objective is you have to find Leave for Kit. The K I T. Kit. Kit is Eddie's sister. Okay. My kids. Yeah. My kids. Okay. So yeah, when you see this uh, diamond bar there, so you have to press E. It means interaction. Yes. And yes, now your work is how to kind of interact with a person when you meet a new one. Okay, so what do you say? How what do you say? Hi, what do you say? Hi, Eddie. Yes, hi, Eddie. So that's your student's task, like, you know, whether they know how to introduce or how to kind of, you know, conduct an introduction, right? So hi, Eddie. Yeah, just choose that. No, I, I can choose okay. Eddie. Okay. Here, come here. Hi, Eddie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hi. And now what, what are you going to say? You are going to say? Let's, Let's go, go, right? Because you need to find Kit. Yes. Let's go. Okay. Okay, come with me. Yeah. So you have to follow Eddie. Yeah. Yes. Good. Good job. See, our young kids, they're really, really good with computers and games, right? I've tried it with our teachers so many times. It took time, but he knew it. So, yes, uh, you have to exit to the, wait. Uh, so, you see that instruction like exit to the quad. So, now, here, quad is a new word for us, at least, because we do not have quad in Bangladesh. Do you know what quad mean? Quad? Yes. Sorry? Yeah, it is, uh, quad is actually a kind of square shaped place uh, between like, you know, four walls. It's actually the field, you can call it, because in Bangladesh, we do not really have quads. It's uh, like, you know, they do not have any shapes or anything, because I guess our guests from America can say something about quad. Quad, yeah, of course. Yeah, yes, it's like a place surrounded by buildings, yes. Okay. Yes, especially in universities, because you see, um, Tress is actually here in a university, so, uh, you know, it's a quad that he come across, okay? Yeah, but it's a new word for us, so you can teach your student, like, what is the meaning of quad, and that's a teaching, and that's a learning for our students, okay? So, do you think that, you know, it's, it's, it's becoming meaningful to teach English? Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay, so just exit to quad. Okay, so... That's how we are going to kind of proceed. Thank you so much. What's your name, please? My name is, my name is Nafiz Ibrahim. Okay, and you're from? I'm from BIS, Bangladesh International School and College. So, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, let's skip the game now. Uh, so, that's how it's going to kind of, you know, proceed and we have to uh, finish one activity after another. And thank you so much. I actually have something for you as well. So, this is how the city looks. You can either have I'm always forgetting that I'm, I have like overconfidence over my voice, right? Which is not good. Well, so uh, it comes in two versions. One is teacher edition and another is student edition. For the students, it's like, you know, it just comes as a CD. And for the teacher, it, comes, uh, it also comes along with a manual and also worksheets. Like, you know, uh, the worksheets that you can use in your classroom to teach English using trust effects. So this is a kind of, you know, a gift for our uh, volunteer today. Thank you so much. And please, a big clap for him. Okay.
Okay, like I said, there are seven chapters, and uh, after you finish one chapter, you also get a certificate uh, from, you know, which has all the kind of sales and logos from State Department, which is cool, right? And maybe if you kind of, you know, uh, decide to use it in your school, you can make your students uh, finish all the chapters and you can give them a certificate, which is very rewarding for them as well. Okay, now, now let's go back to the presentation. Okay. I think we talked about it. This is stress effects and there is a tailor as well. I could not show you that, but so what is stress effect? I just said it has seven chapters and online and mobile language games. It also has a teacher's manual and certificate of completion for each chapter and links to it also actually have a, a cool thing. It also has the links to all with all the state department's programs that we offer. So the people who are not exchange alumni here, you might also get information about our programs offered by state department using this game as well. Okay, now you might ask, why trust, right? We have so many things to teach English. We have our curriculum. We have our pressure to finish that in our classroom as well. We do not really have enough time to use another game. So now here comes the point where you can uh, kind of, you know, include the, uh, the topics, the issues that trust effects is dealing with in your own curriculum. And we do have a full webinar. Do you know what is webinar? I think at least the State Department uh, uh, teachers know, like change alumni know. So we have a full-fledged uh, uh, webinar on trust effects on how to use it in your classroom. Okay, so it is actually, uh, it's, it's very, very engaging tools for our young learners, isn't it? I'm sure, like, you know, do you think that it's, it's going to be fun for our students? Yeah, right? I think it is going to be fun because we have seen it here in Bangladesh. And, um, you know, it, it helps you practice American English and uh, it tells you about society and culture and like, you know, the study and, of course, all about uh, United States. And, uh, and the best thing is like, you know, you make them play, but they actually learn, which is the cool thing about this game, I think. It's not just a game, but they are actually learning through gaming. And the key elements includes community activism, empowering women, environmental conservation, science and innovation, entrepreneurship and mutual understanding, which we always talk about from State Department. Well, so this is how the outlook is. And, uh, you know, that's the workshop that we played. So these are like additional activities that came uh, in with Trace Effects game. Well, now another way to download the WordSoap. You cannot download the Trace Effect game in your mobile, but the game called WordSoap in your mobile. You might like to just take a snap of it, and um, you just have to go to the websites and download them. And uh, if you want to play the game online, I would say I would recommend you to kind of you know have an um, uh, account at Trace Effects website, which is traceeffects.state.gov. Do you want me to keep it for a while? Okay, should I move? Okay, moving. Well, and I would always actually like to acknowledge the contribution of our State Department specialists and um, uh, kind of, you know, our colleagues who developed this game. And uh, you can see that, yes, Rick Rosenberg, Jacqueline Gurdy, Dr. Deborah Halley, uh, Dr. Elizabeth Hanson Smith, Dr. Don Bikweski and Jeff Kuhn. I'm sorry about my pronunciation. <laughs> it's really difficult names, I guess, sometimes, right? Okay, so have you met any, any of them? Whom? Yes, great, because they are always present in TESOL. If you know about TESOL conference, it's, uh, it's the like, you know, annual conference for English language teachers, which helps in the United States, and this year it's going to be in Chicago, so uh, I actually hope to meet them there again. Okay, and these are the important links that we have. I just wanted to say something about the Facebook page that we have, American English Facebook page and American English for educators. The Facebook page is for everyone, for teachers, for students, for like, you know, anyone who wants to learn English. So we have so many um, resources over there. Do you know about the American English Facebook page? 
a few, very few, please go to your Facebook and like this page. It is, it is really good. It's for, you know, it's very helpful for any, any teachers, any students from, of any languages, I would say. So, and also, also there is another special page called American English for Educators. If you do not want to like so many pages, being the educators, I would recommend you to like this page where we have so many opportunities open, so many information about the resources that we have. So you, you might like to like that page and kind of stay updated because we are going to just uh, announce a MOOC on um, using technology in education, uh, English education. So that's going to be a very uh, interesting course. And if you want to kind of you know, register for that course, you might like to like this page first and get up updates about the programs that we have. And another thing is American English Teachers Corner. This is a uh, kind of you know, sub tab for the American English uh, website that we have. So you might just like to kind of you know, like that page. And I have just for kind of you know, uh, shared one card with you. I'm not sure if you uh, get it already or not. Have you received this one already? Great. So if you just turn this, you have all the links right, written over here. And that's going to be very, uh, I think, you know, handy for you. Just keep it in your purse or pocket. So when you are stuck in traffic, which is very big in Bangladesh, so you know, whenever I talk about our resources, I always say, I tell them that when you, whenever you are stuck in traffic, just you know, use your cell phone to. Uh, kind of you know, know about these resources. But for others, I hope you do not have that much bad traffic, but you can also use it in your leisure times. Okay. And thank you. I hope it was helpful. We had a little bit of technical difficulties, but I hope that it was helpful for you. And this is Rehana Sultana. I work as the English Language Program Coordinator at the USMBC Dhaka. Thank you, everyone. Thank you just for giving me this opportunity to share our information with uh, you, you know, our teachers. And thank you to all our international participants who have come all the way from their countries to Bangladesh. I know it's not in a very good shape, like security-wise, but you still took the risk to come here and consider Bangladesh as one of your conference venue. Thank you so much. Thank you, just and. Thank all our participants today. Thank you. And uh, I think we also have some photocopies of the one pages, how to download them. And I'm sure Emdad is going to distribute that among you. Please make sure you have a copy of that. At least the English teachers should have a copy of that. Thank you so much. And also, <laughs> there are some CDs. I'm leaving it with Emdad. Who would like to have it? Oops. Come in, come in, it's a race then. I think I'm going to give it to you. Yeah. Oops. For, for the Bangladeshi. For, okay. Oh, well. Uh, okay, and to one Nepali. And uh, bang, I'm going to give you from my office. Yeah. So, yeah. For Bangladeshi teachers, if you want to have it, please co communicate with me and, and our international participants who did not get a copy. Please go back to your office and just, you know, ask the US Embassy contact there if they have a copy for you. Thank you.